King David sinned greatly with Bathsheba. He committed adultery with her and had her husband killed. But God sent a prophet and convicted him of his sin. And David repented and changed his heart. And gave, God gave him a second chance. A man named Saul was involved in persecuting the church and killing Christians. But God got a hold of him. God changed him and he came to the Apostle Paul who wrote two-thirds of the New Testament. I love the Word of God because it tells people's lives like they were. It shows how they were, sins and all. And I love that because I'm seeing people who fail in the Bible, but God takes them, turns them around, and uses them, and that gives me hope, and it should give you hope tonight. And many people in the Bible we consider to be heroes of the faith fail greatly. Moses murdered an Egyptian. Abraham had a child with a woman who was not his wife. And David committed an adultery and murder. But how are these three men known? Moses is called what? A friend of God. Abraham is called the father of our faith. And David is called a man after God's own heart. Evidently, in the eyes of God, failure is not final. Each of these men failed miserably, but yet when they went on to meet God, he turned them into powerful men and used them greatly. And I want you to know that as a person, failure isn't just something, and failure is not bad at all. That doesn't make you a failure if you fail. Failure is the condition. It's an attitude people get. Failure is when you try to give up trying and resign to being as a failure. Don't accept failure as a definition in your life. Proverbs 24, 16. For those that righteous fall seven times, they what? Rise again. Now that doesn't mean that literally seven times, like once you fall the eight times, you stay there because there's no sense getting back up. It means as many times as you fall down, the word of the Lord says, get back up. You see, Peter the nail Peter failed the Lord terribly. He denied Christ. He went back to his old ways. But a few chapters later, we see Peter preaching to thousands of people. What changed him? What changed him into one of the greatest influences of the early church? What changed him into the man that preached on the day of Pentecost where over 3,000 people were saved? Peter learned from his failure. He changed and became a great man of God, but those changes came because he got a new start, because Jesus gave him a new heart. 